Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the appointed day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, you need to be expectant this day. Hallelujah. Just tell your neighbor, you need to be expectant this day. Hallelujah. Shall we just pray a short prayer as we are going to call the man of God? Amen. Glory be to the Lord. Shall we just pray as we call upon the Lord just to prepare our hearts for the way this day? Amen. Shall we just pray? Father, in Jesus' name, we pray, our God and our Father, as we are expected, a God, in this day, Lord, that you are going to speak to us about. In Jesus' mighty name, the Son of the living God. Lord, we open our hearts, of God, unto your word, the Lord. May you speak unto us, of God, in this day. In Jesus' mighty name, the Son of the living God, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's our Let's raise our feet. And those that are behind, let's move to the front. There's no one sitting in front. Yes, me. Jesus. My sister, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Welcome. Let's move. Mama, let's move. We can move to the front. Let's move to the front. Those who are coming will come and join us. They'll sit behind us. Let's move. Let's make moves. And help me greet your neighbor. Help me greet your neighbor. Help me greet your neighbor and tell them God loves you. God loves you. Help me greet your neighbor and tell them God loves you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are we happy to be here? Are we happy to be in this place? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. Today is the appointed day of each and every one of us. Amen. And Amen. I believe it's the day that you're going to receive your change from God. Amen. Amen. And I would like to tell you to say, you coming in this place is not by mistake. Hallelujah. Amen. It's by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor to say, today is my day. Today is my tell day. your neighbor, help me tell your neighbor nicely to say today is my day. Today is, today my, is day. my day of a new beginning. Today is my day. Today is a, it's my day of a great appointment. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is about to shock one of you here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord is about to move one's destiny today. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We bless you, Jehovah. You are above everything. You are the King of kings, Lord of lords, Alpha and Omega. This is your time, Yahweh. And we believe, Jehovah, Father, that is the time, Jehovah, Lord, that you are making a paradigm shift, Jehovah, in our lives. In Jesus' name. Father, we pray for the word. As we are going to be ministered, Jehovah Lord, we speak, Jehovah, your anointing in this place. Father, we pray, Jehovah Lord, as we arrest all the powers of the enemy, Jehovah, in this territory, Father, we pray that we take over in Jesus' name. Those that came, Jehovah, Father, with problems, Father, we pray, Jehovah, let them find solutions, Jehovah, in your presence in Jesus' name. Yahweh, we speak your wisdom and your understanding, Jehovah, among ourselves, Jehovah, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Father, we leave the word, Jehovah, and the instruments, Jehovah, Father, in your hands as you are going to minister to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we say, Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's take our seats. Today is our divine appointment Sunday. Hallelujah. And we are on our second Sunday of the year 2020. Hallelujah. And you are here because you are appointed by God. Amen. If you are appointed by God, you can just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know you are here. You are believing God for something. And the Lord is ready to give you what you are believing for. Hallelujah. This morning, I would like to encourage you to be very prayerful and understanding the word of God. Hallelujah. 
If you came with a problem, I would like to encourage you to say there is a solution in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If your family is giving you issues, I've come to tell you to say there is a family that you have in the Lord. Hallelujah. And this morning, just believe that God has the answer for your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sign today. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel like speaking in somebody's life this morning. Amen. Amen. And the Lord is telling me something about your life to say is about to change every situation in your life today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have our theme of the year and which is divine speed. Hallelujah. Praise but today we are looking at divine connection. Hallelujah. The power of divine connections. Hallelujah. It's been a day that will look at the power of divine connections in your appointment with God. Hallelujah. You can't move with a speed if you are not rightly placed. Hallelujah. When you are rightly placed, you are going to move with the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you are placed in a right place by the Lord, you will be able to move with Him. With a great speed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Power of divine connection. Hallelujah. When you are connected by God, you will not force that connection to work for you. Hallelujah. When you are connected in do business to people by God Himself, you will not force yourself to work with those people. When you are connected by God to do a certain deal, you will not push yourself for that deal to work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. Today it's a different day and the Lord has spoken to me to do it differently. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. God is good. When you are connected by God, God will order your steps. Hallelujah. And the Bible speaks about him ordering your steps. Hallelujah. When you are divinely connected by him, you are in, you are in the, the, the times of the Lord. God is going to move with you. He says, I will go before you. Hallelujah. You can't move with God and you are not rightly connected with him. Divine connection is where you are connected to people in the spirit, not in the physical. There are so many people are looking forward to move with you physically, but not in the spirit. You need to be connected spiritually, not physically. Hallelujah. Many people say, no, we have a bond that we share. You need to have a bond that you share spiritually. Hallelujah. Are we together? What is your bond with your family? Is it fighting? Huh? Is it crying every day? You need to share a spiritual bond. Which is a divine connection. Hallelujah. When you are divinely connected, even at work, you will not push for Muzumu and Ikonde. Hallelujah. Because it's a divine connection, no one will push it for you. Divine connection means arranged by God himself. Before we even read the Bible, Jesus Christ was making a transit, going to Galilee, passing through Samaria. Hallelujah. And what happened? He met a woman that was divinely arranged by God himself. And what happened? The future of everyone in that land changed. Even today, God is going to change the story of your life. Amen. Even today, God is going to make a move in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know what problem you came with, but I would like to tell you to say, when you are divinely connected by God, no one will push you aside. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to open Psalms 37 verse 4. And we are rising to read the word of the Lord. Psalms 37. Are we there? Psalms 37, verse 4. 
One is there. Can you read for us? Psalms 37, verse 4. Are we there? Yeah. The Bible reads, mm -hmm. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires and secret petitions of your hearts. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Delight yourself. Amen. In who? In the Lord. And the Bible forbids you not to trust in man, but trust in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells you again, delight, delight yourself in who? In the Lord. And you do what? He will give you the desires of your heart. And secret petitions. Let's take our seats. Delight yourself in the Lord. Every time we say, I am delighted to be in the presence of the Lord. Without knowing that we have to place ourselves and connect ourselves to the Lord. Hallelujah. Being connected to God is not about just giving or cleaning, or singing. It's first of all, you belong to him. Divine connection is not about moving with a pastor every time. No, I'm papa's daughter, not at all. It's you being connected to the Lord. Hallelujah. Prophecy can be given to you. But what you need to do is to be connected to God. Hallelujah. We have to be connected to who? To God. You may have strong connections. But one day all those connections will not work for you. And you need God. Not as your backup. But as your solution. There are people who are connected even to the president. But we heard them crying to say they are not helping me. Hallelujah. Someone who says, no, I am rightly connected to the president. We have the doors of state house. But they are trying to say they are not seeing me. Why? Because divine connection, you will not force yourself on people. And when you ask on God, you delight yourself in him. He will give you the desires of your heart. And he will reveal the secret things to you. When you are rightly connected to him. Don't connect yourself to people and use God as a backup. Connect yourself to God and use him. Let him work with you. He says, I will be with you as I was with Moses. Not saying, I will use you as how I used Moses. Hallelujah. Being with someone and being used by someone, it's different. Hallelujah. Being with someone, which means you are connected. You are in their passion. Hallelujah. God wants to change your situation by you being connected to him. Do you want your situation to change? Yeah. Do you have any situation that you want God to change? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you are here for the first time, let me promise you to say, you move with a solution. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are here for the first time and you are looking for a solution, let me tell you that God will move you with a different story today. Hallelujah. No matter the problem that you have, the Lord has connected you to the right place. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Divine connection means God moving with you. Doing things with you. Hallelujah. And divine connection, which means it's Something that is arranged by himself, God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ had a strong bond with his friend. But you know what? The friend died. They were going to him, calling and asking to say, Christ, your friend is sick. Hallelujah. During the sickness, Jesus Christ had no time to go and visit. But the Bible says he's the master of time and circumstances. But he had no time to go and visit because he was busy with other things. 
And the distance that they were walking to go and meet Christ and report to him was not a short distance. Hallelujah. Your problem and the answers that you are expecting to hear from God may not come now because Christ is waiting on the appointed time. When you are divinely sent by God, assigned by God, it will come on its own time. If fumina kuri lesa, fila kokola. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You need to wait on God. And let him send you. If you involve yourself in a battle where God is not involved in, you come out crying. You come out lamentating. Because God is not involved. But when God is involved in your battle, he has connected you divinely. You will be able to conquer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. David was sent to say pursue, overtake and recover. Because that was a divine assignment by God. But if it's not an assignment by God, you will go back crying. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? The Bible says, Jesus Christ met this woman and asked her to say, I am thirsty. I am asking if you can give me water. And the Bible calls it is the water of what? Eh? That's it? Is the water of what? Eh? Water of what? Of life, eh? And Christ asked for water again from a woman. Upon asking, the woman thought maybe Jesus was among the men that were approaching her. The woman looked at, no, maybe this man is after me. And Christ changed a story forever. Praise the Lord. There are places that you have visited without knowing that you are assigned by God. And let me tell you, divine assignment and divine connections by God himself will change your story forever. Amen. There are people that are sent to you by God for a certain season. Not everyone who comes in your life is sent to live with you forever. There are some friends that are divinely assigned just to move you from one corner to another and move on. Don't stick to other connections that are not elevating you or bringing the glory of God in your life. I'm not saying you should leave your wife, your husband, because it's said in that way. No! What I mean is this. There, there is a friend, of, a friend of yours that you always go with, around, move around. You have nothing to do, just moving around. You should stop moving with them. Hallelujah. People that are divinely assigned to you are not people that you can even force in your life. Are we together? Are we together? Amen. You are not even saying amen, which means now I'm full. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you something. When I am praying for someone, I understand the spirit on somebody's life. If God wants to reveal your family, God will bring the entire family to me. And describe everyone. Hallelujah. Today in the morning before coming here, there is a brother who is in Congo. He's a son to the ambassador from Congo to Belgium. He called me on Facebook, video call. And we've never sat down and spoke with the brother. He's been following me on Facebook. And this is what he said. He said, I had a dream. Someone was telling me four, number four. I don't understand why 
I was being told four. Maybe I have four day, I have four days to die. Or maybe I am going to have four wives. Oh, I said, my brother, do you understand that God is speaking to you? Or maybe someone was speaking to you. He said, I just heard a voice, but not even a, a picture. I just heard a voice, someone saying four. Four. I said, four means a lot to your life. So when I started explaining in the prophetic, the brother said, I have met prophets. But when you are divinely connected to someone, God will direct you to the right place. Hallelujah. Miss yeah. it's the time to change. This is the time for your change. Hallelujah. Mama, this is the time for your change. The time for your healing. The day for a turnover in your life. Hallelujah. My sister, this is the time for change. A day for change in your life. Are you ready? Are you ready to pray? Hallelujah. <laughs> Are you ready to pray? We need to shake things. Young man, you are healed. And okay. Even you are. Well, MP. 2021, you should try MP, not cancer. Huh? <laughs> Chola, you should try MP. Go for MP, not cancer. Shall cancer Shika Chepa. Hallelujah. Huh? 2021, you should try. I'll vote for you. <laughs> Amen. We are blessed in our church. We have been visited by even someone who is aspiring. Hey? Mm -hmm. huh? Huh? <laughs> you don't want to stand again. You are scared. I know. Remove your fears. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Divine, the power of divine connection. If you are writing down, let's write now. The power of divine connection. It's not determined by how many people you know. The power of divine connection is determined by the force of God in your life. The people you know doesn't matter. What matters is the connection of God in your life. Esther was connected to her uncle. The uncle was connected to the royal palace. But the uncle never went and sat as a king. But the one who went in as a queen was Esther. Hallelujah. Amen. Divine connection matters between you and God. And when you are divinely connected by God, God will assure the desires of your heart in that time. God is precise in his divine connection. The power of divine connection brings a remedy in your life. God changes not. That is what the Bible says. Is the healer, not a supervisor on your life. But the one who is watching over. When he's connecting you to the right people, he knows where to take you. That is why the Bible says he orders your steps. Hallelujah. Let's rise on our feet. Praise the Lord. Some you can sit on the keyboard and give us some strength. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Are we together? Amen. Are we ready to pray? Amen. Are we ready to pray? Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. Are we ready to pray? Amen. I can't hear you. I can only hear Karen. Are we ready to pray? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. 
and tell them never this is the time that I'm supposed to move now. This is the time. This is the time. This was God loves you. God loves you. I will say it again. God loves you. Let me tell you. I'm meeting you for the first time today. For the first time today with your mother. And your sister. I was talking to you. In the spirit. And you obeyed. You called me using your mother's number. Yes. I don't know why you didn't use your number. Do I have your right? No. I have it. You, don't know you me. gave me? No. Dear sister, you know me? No. You gave me a line? No. 0979. Huh? Yes. 0979094. And then it ends with 6. Whose number is that? My number ends with 6. 0979. Whose number is that? My number begins like that. I'm saying this. Hear me just. 0979. Okay, let me put it. 0979 0979 94. Okay? And then 6 at the end. And then there's a 1 and a 9 somewhere. Yes. your number. Yes, man of God. On the same number, you are going to receive calls. You gave me your number. No, man of God. Have we ever met before? No, we've never met before. Have we ever come to your place? No, we don't know. No, please. But how do I know your number? No. <laughs> huh? How do I know your number? In your house. Whatever that has been going missing, my dear sister, your money will not go missing again. Amen. Let me tell you, you lose money every time. I don't know who takes your money. Just come. come. Today we need to ravage the camp of the devil. No, you can stand there. You want to become a pastor also. You want the people to see you. Let them see you. She wants people to see her. You can see her. Your mother will not die. Amen. The sickness that has been going on and on, on and on. I will explain to you shortly so that we can pray. In the short time that we have, your mother won't die. Amen. The money you have spent will not go in vain for your mother. The sickness that has taken over and over will not kill her. Amen. And your life is protected by God. Amen. Look, whenever you work, what God is showing me is this. You put money physically. There is no child in the house who can steal. You trust your mother. You trust yourself and you trust your sister. But when you put money, we'll go back, you find that there's no money in the house. The house is intact. No one has broken the house, but money is gone. And what God is telling me in the prophetic is this. I hear a sound in the house. There is a noise that comes every time. Whenever you have money, money is stolen mysteriously. And then what I, what I see is this. In December, you went through something that was very tough. Where you can even lack food. You who is able to push for things that works for you. But I am seeing something where you go even down. You can't have anything even to eat. But what God is telling me, this is the end of that situation. Amen. And the people that have been taking advantage of your life, this is the end Amen. of them today. Amen. You stepping in this place, God has changed your story. Amen. I am going to pray for you. And I am praying for your family. Amen. The trouble, mama, in your family. The problems... In your family where you are coming from will not land on you again Amen. and also the false accusation on your family will not stand again 
as you have stepped in this place, you are going back with great answers. Amen. Let's lift our hands. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, I bring your daughter in this place in Jesus' name. I call upon the prophetic Jehovah Lord. I call upon your power Jehovah Lord. You are the deliverer. Father, I remove every power of the enemy Jehovah Lord upon our life. Every evil spirit Jehovah Lord rising Jehovah to destroy Jehovah Lord and kill. Father, I pray they will not stand again in Jesus' name. They will not stand again in your life, in your family, in Jesus' name. Live her right now as a release her life in Jesus' name. I say you release her today. You release her today. You release her today in the mighty name of Jesus. You evil powers, I command you to go. I command you to go. I command you to go in the mighty name of Jesus. The rest we are praying. Hallelujah. The rest we are praying. We are destroying every power of the enemy in our families. Every power of the enemy in, in our houses. We are telling God, Father, I am destroying everything that the enemy has put in my, my life, in my family. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we destroy all powers of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, right now, I pray to the Lord. In the life of your daughter right now, I speak. Let them release your life. Let them release your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your power go over. Enter and destroy everything to overload. Stagnation, I destroy you. Stagnation, I destroy you upon our life. I command you to say you release her today. You release her today. She's not in your camp. She's not in your camp. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now I pray for every abdominal pain on your body. I destroy it. Every abdominal pain on your body. I destroy it. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I speak your power of deliverance. You are the deliverer, Jehovah Lord. I speak every power, Jehovah Lord, that is in this body to release a life in Jesus' name. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power of the enemy in this body, Jehovah Lord, that is troubling Jehovah Lord, our womb. Father, I destroy it right now in Jesus' name. Father, I speak deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil power, Jehovah Lord, rising, Father, upon our life. Right now, I pray, let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yahweh, I destroy everything on your life. Every complication in your life, I destroy it in Jesus' name. Your life will not be destroyed. I break everything that is holding your marital success. I break everything that is holding on your marriage. Everything that is holding on your employment. This year, 2020, you are going to be employed in a right place where you are going to have a good income. And your mother will have this year, is, she's going to celebrate because there is a lot of blessings that will take place in your life and in your sister's life. And what God is saying right now is telling me to tell you just be prudent, understand where God is telling you, and listen to your mother's advice. And God will take you high. 
and God will move with you. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We seal everything to overload in the mighty name of Jesus. the one who is healing your life today and as you have come to this place God has healed your life and God has healed your bones it's the one who mends all the hearts that are broken and God has changed your situation and your story believe in God now and let God transform your life hallelujah are the witness to your mother. You are the witness. You have seen what she's gone through. And you are going to testify. Even if you are not going to come back. But don't be like those people in the Bible. There was one who went back to testify. You should come and testify in this place. We are not asking for your money to pray for your mother. We are not asking for anything. But my humble request to you is this. Have faith in God that your mother will not die. Amen. And have faith in God that our bones and everything are healed. And have faith that you will come back in this place and testify. If you will not make it, you can even send a message. The same way I located you for you to bring your mother. Did I know that your mother has a problem? Did I know that in your house you have a problem? The same way I located you, that's the same way I want you to come and locate this place. Don't bring any money, just bring the testimony. That is what fortifies the people of the Lord. Money does not fortify the people of the Lord. Your testimony will encourage us to so high. Hallelujah. So I, I, I expect you to come back and testify. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the healer. Jehovah, you are healing in Jesus' name. Father, this woman is here, Jehovah, Lord, with all these problems, Jehovah. You are the one who can take off this burden in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Every pain in her body is taken away in Jesus' name. Ukutira Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Let healing take place in the mighty name of Jesus. You are healed in Jesus' name. From every force of darkness, you are removed and healed in Jesus' name. Let God do a new thing on your life by healing your life in Jesus' name. This is a new beginning of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. You are healed. You are healed by God Himself. As you are going back home, God is healing your life. And everything is changing. You will not go again to the hospital to seek for advice. You, if you want to go to the hospital, is to go and check if you are okay fully. You are not going to go back the same today. Your life has changed, and God has changed your story. Hallelujah! 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 Clap for Jesus! Clap for Jesus! Clap for Jesus! 
Aleluya. May the Lord change the story of your children and let their blood be strong to resist to any sickness and your life should be protected by God himself from every chaos in your family. There are things that I'll share with you one on one and things that I may mention now. What do you want God to do for you? You are the deliverer. Cha overlord, I remove her in every cage to overlord. Holding her life in Jesus' name. I speak Jehovah as your servant. Let every power of darkness be destroyed in Jesus' name. Father, we pray. Every family tie is broken in Jesus' name. We cut you off every family tie in Jesus' name. Every tie that is holding on your life right now is broken in Jesus' name. Let the blessings of the Lord be upon your life. Amen. I'll see you after the service. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I can come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. This is the time for the Lord Himself working in your life. This is the time for God himself changing your situation. Your son we will never be armed by the devil. Amen. By all virtues. Amen. The devil can try by all means but they will not harm him. Amen. Remember in December I shared with you I said there is something that the enemy is planning to your son. You came, we prayed for him. And what did you tell me? What did you say to me? You sent me a video? Yeah. Can you share with the people of God? Yeah. First the people and share with them. Okay. Um, Speak up, you are a singer. <laughs> yes, at home, where we live. There was a, a car that was parked for a long time, it wasn't moving. So when we came back from church, my son and their friend wanted to go play inside that car because they, they go play there. They used to go play there most times. So this friend of his was busy telling him, let's go and play in the car. Then my son said, no, I don't feel like going. I don't know how, why he was speaking like an adult. I was saying I don't have a, a good feeling going to play in the car and we were just coming from church that day. So after a few minutes, my son said, can't you see there's even smoke coming out from that same car? And then uh, he went to ask the landlord to, to ask if she knows about the, the smoke. And the landlord told them go and uh, put it off, go get a bucket of water and put it off. By the time they were reaching, 
the car had already burned down, like exploded. So had they been playing in the car up to today, I don't know what would have happened. Because you know what happens when cars are burning, those just lock on their own. So I really, I was so shocked because my car was also parked nearby. So I just heard, I just heard a knock from someone saying, come and move your car, it is also going to catch fire. So I was so shocked standing there. I was like, what has happened? In just a few minutes, we reached home and this guy is burning. What went wrong? What happened? So I really praise God because I really don't know what would have happened to my son that day. And uh, I know it was God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Even children's they can hear God. Amen. Hallelujah. Even yourself, God speaks to you. The problem is that you are too stubborn to hear from Him. You are too busy on WhatsApp and Facebook to hear from God. This was. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hallelujah. God can speak to you through dreams. But you keep them to yourself. You are not a banker of dreams. Pray for them. Pray for those dreams. For God to work. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bring your daughter to you, Jehovah. You are the one who protects Jehovah your own. Father, we pray. She is protected and her son is protected. We destroy every spiritual power to overturn to destroy them in Jesus' name. Every evil power to overload trying to rise to over Father against them to over. We destroy it in Jesus' name. Lord, let everything to over Father that you planned to overload and that you have lined up for her to over Father be accomplished in Jesus' name. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be here? Yes. Are you happy to be in the presence of the Lord? Yes. Are you happy to be in the presence of the Lord? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. In our church, we are having two people. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even those that are watching me on Facebook, it's just a joke. Hallelujah. It's just a joke. So if you don't like me, I don't like you too. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I said it again. If you don't like me, I don't like you too. <laughs> the devil will never like you. So don't like the devil. Huh? Right? Yeah. <laughs> These two people, how do you pray for them? <laughs> <laughs> There's another one there. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, God is a merciful God. From the West, God brings the best. From the people that you think can't do anything, my dear. Those are the same children that will reproduce great things in your life. Amen. Amen. Just know how to handle people. Divine connection is not about the outlook. It's about the insight that God has deposited in people. Amen. I met one of the singers not because they were singing. You remember we met her? Yes. And you used to think I was a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you are divinely connected to people, Miss Ozzy, you will not force yourself to them. They will bring themselves to you. Amen. They will bring whatever that they need to give you on their own. So this is the time of I don't care whatever goes missing, but I know what is coming by God himself. Amen. 
Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. You are God, you are great, you are overlord. And you are the one who has lined up to over the great future for your son in Jesus' name. Let him do over, Father, traverse to over that Lord, this journey to over of his life with you in Jesus' name. No power of darkness will destroy his life in Jesus' name. Yahweh, we pray, whatever situation, Jehovah Lord, that the family may go through, let it not affect his life in Jesus' name. We break every power of darkness, Jehovah. The yoke is broken on your life in Jesus' name. We pray and we say, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are believing God for money, believing God for a great testimony, you can come and pray for you and we move on. If you are believing God for something, you believing God for a child, I'm believing God for triplets myself. Hallelujah. This is good. I'm believing God for triplets. Triplets. One, two, three, four. Hallelujah. I'm believing God actually for triplets, triplets, triplets. We want to have a lot of children as members. Hallelujah. So I'm believing God for a lot of triplets. Unchanged. I'm believing God for a car on your behalf. A brand new one again. And you give it since she wants a shop. For what? Hallelujah. Yes. She will not remain Jehovah Father behind, but Jehovah Lord, she will lead the way in Jesus' name. Open Jehovah doors of finances in Jesus' name. Father, let a miracle Jehovah take place in our life. Extraordinary Jehovah things Jehovah Lord should come through to our life in Jesus' name. 
we open all the doors in Jesus' name we pray and we say amen hallelujah praise the Lord hear this every door that was closed for you may the Lord give you the entire building to all those doors amen. any door that was closed for you may the Lord give you the building for you to be in possession of all the doors that you need Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have come to a good time. Amen. Amen. To give to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have come to a good time to give to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. Tuesday and Friday we are meeting in this same place. Amen. Amen. For prayers. Hallelujah. As we continue with the 26 days of prayer and fasting. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah.